In this video, we are going to find the number of ordered pairs of integers x and y such that x squared minus y squared equals 2000 squared. This problem is from Amy2000. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The first step to solve this problem is actually very natural, which is to factorize the left hand side, which is x plus y times x minus y. And that equals 2,000 square, which is actually 4 million. Then we know that because x and y are integers, so the sum and differences are both integers. And now we have two integers with the product with 4 million. So that should be only finitely number of cases. So I can establish a system of two equations with the value, with the numbers on the right hand side to be factors of 4 million and when they multiply together, they should be exactly 4 million as well. So starting from the largest possible value for x plus y, which is 4 million, and then we can continue listing out the cases. And it should go on and on. And then at some point, you will actually get the numbers reversed, which means I have 4 and then 1 million, I should say 10 to the power 6, and then 2, and then 1. So there are, in fact, many cases in there. We can't, we can't solve them one by one or it take forever. So let me first split them into different cases and analyze them um, separately. So there are actually some cases that we have no integral solution. For example, when x plus y is 4 million and then x minus y is 1. In general, the way to solve them would be to add and subtract the equations. If I add them, I will get 2x. If I add, I will get 2x. If I subtract, I will get 2y. And for this case, I'll actually get some odd number for x, for, not for 2x, but and also an, an odd number for 2y, and that means I will not get any integer, integers for x and y, so that means we cannot use this, um, these cases. So from this, we know that there is actually some restriction on the parities of x plus y and x minus y, which is that they have to be either both odd or both even. And we know that we can't have both odd because the product has to be 4 million, so that means they have to be both even. Just like this, when the sum is 2 million and the difference is 2, then you can solve it and get some integers for x and y. But we are actually not asking to solve all of them, but the problem is asking us to find the number of solutions. So what matters is whether there are how many even factors are there. Notice that for each even factor of 4 million, say from 2 all the way up to 2 million, they will be corresponding to um, one unique solution. So it, re it remains to count the number of even factors of 4 million. So let's see. So 4 million, to count number of factors, I'm going to write that in, in the form of prime factorization. I was going to split 4 million into product of primes. So notice that because it's 4 times 10 to the power 6, so it's going to be written as 2 squared times 2 times 5 all to the power 6. And simplifying, you'll get 2 to the power 8 times 2 to the power 6. Notice that there's a typo, which is 5 to the power 6. So now for this number, the factors must be of the form 2 to the sum power, say a blank, times 5 to some power, another blank. So I have two blanks to fill in. And for some valid solutions, I'm going to split it into two factors. So two of both of them are powers of 2 times powers of 5. Let's say with them. Um, green blanks and yellow blanks. 
So notice that both of them have to be even. So, or maybe I should use some other color like this. That will be easier for me to describe. So for the green blanks, they both have to be non-zero so that both are even. So they can be starting from one all the way up to seven because the uh, when one takes say when one takes eight then the other will have to take force to take zero because eight because the product has to be two to the power eight so that means we cannot take powers uh, take to the eighth power so that means we can only take up to uh, seventh power of course we cannot take even larger because this has to be smaller than eight in order to divide that power so there are seven options for the green blank while for the yellow blank there are actually no restrictions except that of course it cannot be um, larger than six so zero one all the way up to six so there are 49 cases among the system seven times seven which is 49 even factors So that means among all these cases from 2 million all the way down to 2, there are actually 49 systems that we can find a valid solution. Say for example, if x plus 1 is 2 million and x plus 1 is 2, then from this I can solve that x and y are 1 million and 1. And then 999,999. Whereas for this case, when the sum is 2 and the difference is 2 million, then I will get instead still 1 million and 1. But y is minus 9, minus 6 nines. So actually, for these 49 cases, we have actually found, already found some possibilities with x to be positive and y to be negative. Now at this point, we can actually generate even more solutions by completely swapping the signs of x and y, as in I swap them, both of them together. If they're both positive, then they become both negative. If x is positive, while well, y is negative then i'm going to swap them so that x is negative and y is positive so under this scheme i've managed to cover all the all the cases whether x and y takes positive or negative values so all together our final answer should be 7 times 7 times 2 which is 98 solutions so this is the final answer